Hey folks, I just want to take a few minutes to explain the difference between speed jigging and slow jigging. As you know, maybe we receive a bunch of slow jigs this year. And uh, I just want to take a few minutes to explain the difference. Because uh, I tried a slow jig this year in Cuba and it was a really good jig. And I want to just explain to you how to use it and maybe you, you should try it. As you know, the speed jigs... The shape of the jig is long usually and it's like a knife. So when you drop it into the bottom of the seafloor, when you reach the seafloor and you bring it fast to the surface or mid water, uh, there's no action by itself, these jigs. When you let it drop, it will drop vertically. And when you pull it back, it's vertical. So you need to bring it fast to create some action on it. And uh, it's made for pelagic fish. Pelagic is all the fish, all different species of fish who following the prey on the surface. That's why the Japanese guys create the, the speed jigging. He compared to a slow jigs. What is the slow jigs? It's a metal jig too, but it's made to work on the bottom, close to the seafloor. These jigs, when you pull it, it's vertical like this. But when I let it go and release the lines, he following drops in the horizontal, horizontal uh, positions and is wobbling like this and creating actions in the water. So it's a really great lure for snappers, grouper, kubura, everything leaves on the bottom and then it follows the, the lures to the surface. Uh, usually we're going to put four hooks on it. Uh, that's depend on the seafloor, how it's rocky or not. If it's too rocky, you're going to remove the, the, the hook at the end, okay? And they arrive in different colors, and a blue, pink, and different shape too. Uh, each shape has different move when you drop. As the, uh, this one is a slow man, and the slow man when it drops, is just dropping like this. Practically no side moves, okay? But it will fall fast, and you will blink in the water, and create a lot of vibrations, okay? And we also receive uh, some smaller size jigs and we can use in uh, inshore situations. Uh, usually we're gonna use them in water at uh, 10 to 20 meters and uh, they are great for some snappers. I tried them uh, this time in Cuba when it was too windy and uh, it was not possible to go outside offshore to fish uh, to jig so we stay in the channel and I, I dropped the jig inside three four meters depth channels and I caught a lot of snapper with it and this jig is also good for a trout you know especially for lake trout and during summer when lake trout are grouped together on close to the bottom because it's too hot so they don't move up and drop a jig like this is incredible you're gonna see the result with four hooks, you're gonna hook everything. And uh, these, these jigs is really great because when you drop in water, you will see the movement of these jigs. Nothing in compare. You can even use bucktails or uh, plastic, soft plastic jigs. There's no action by itself, but this one, yes. And that's made all the difference, okay? And especially we have some Japanese hook on it. These hooks are really sharp. And uh, any fish who just stay close to the jig, boom, you're gonna caught it. Okay. And uh, mainly the difference between the gear. Uh, when I fish with a slow jig, I use a light jigging rod. This is a slow jig rod, slow jigging rods. I use a conventional rod because it's more easier. Because most of the time you're gonna drop the jig and pull up the jig, drop again, pull up the jig. In compared to the speed jigging, where the rod is shorter and stronger and you really need to reel fast and this one you're going to use something light so you're going to pull the jig up come up there let it falls and that's it you're going to walk the bottom of the seafloor with this in compared to the speed jigging where you're going to bring back really fast all the all the speed jigging like this so it's more effort with the speed jigging and less effort with slow jigging. But we don't target the same species, okay? Uh, with the speed jigging, we mostly target amberjack, uh, 
tuna uh, because they follow the jig during when we bring up the jigs, you know. And uh, you can also use the spinning rods for a slow jig uh, too. But it's bit, just a bit harder because every time you need to drop, you need to open the bells, close the bell, open the door. That's why I prefer using a conventional rod, okay? And uh, that's what I want to explain is that maybe next time you go to Cuba or Mexico, you should try this. There's a carrot jigs. Is new on the market because the the slow jig doesn't exist since what they exist since uh, four or five years and no more and uh, maybe you should try it okay thanks bye bye